To avoid using your user account with File Vault to boot up, as shown here, follow this, the instructions in this video. Make a USB boot installer, which is not shown in the video. Hold the Option key on Startup to get it to boot up. In this demo, we will erase this disk completely. It is the main disk on this Mac. And we'll do this by choosing Utilities. And then we'll choose Disk Utility. Once the Disk Utility option starts up, we will select our main hard disk drive and then we'll select the erase choice we'll give the volume a name other than an untitled but we'll choose journal and encrypted we'll pick our password here Entering it twice as always. Putting in the password hint. You want to make sure you remember this password. I'll give the volume a name that's better looking than untitled. As this is your main drive, so you don't want to leave it as untitled. The default is Macintosh HD when you get a new Mac, but you have the option to change that here. I didn't pick anything too complicated. Hit the erase button and wait for it to do its thing. This step doesn't take long. I could have picked the show. Uh, click that and I could have picked advanced options for those of you who need more bits or more encryption options but I went with the default since this is just a demo now that it's complete we will exit out of the disk utility and we'll hit continue here accept the agreements We'll select the Mac volume. And now the installation begins. And as you can see, this machine takes time to get the install going. Okay, the installation is complete. It will reboot automatically, or you can click the button to make it restart if you're in a big hurry. Once the boot up is complete, you will enter your decryption password, which is the password you entered on the Disk Utility page earlier in the video. Okay, with correct password entry, the encrypted disk will now become unlocked and the boot up phase will begin and it was happy with the password because it didn't complain shake the screen and say I had the wrong password and now you see it's booting up at this point the encryption is done the rest of this since this is a new install is simply setting up the Mac as you normally would you can recover your time machine drive here and hopefully you had your Mac packed up. The rest of this is really not relevant to setting up the encryption as this would be the same thing you would do if you didn't encrypt and formatted your Mac uh, without encryption. You would have to go through and set all up, set up your accounts and your preferences and all those good things that go along with using your computer. So once you get past the setup screen you'll see that the Mac starts up. You can begin loading your app 
This would appear as your old machine if you used Time Machine Restoration.